Hi everybody, it's Ketosis Trading. I want to uh, do a very quick little tutorial on how you can set up uh, profiling um, techniques and profiling indi indicators in um, TradeStation. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get started. We've got a just a day session of the S&P ES, ES Mini Futures and we have got it in a fairly muted color. I tend to like gray because it's easy to work with and um, the rest is uh, where we overlay the, the profile and we change those colors so that they best stand out. So let's get moving and let's insert into here. Uh, before I do, I'll show you one thing on this. The chart, go to the scaling and change the scaling to 0.25 points which is the actual um, number of points per tick sorry the, the ticks um, per index so four ticks to one point in this case and for the YM I would set that to one and for the Russell it would be 0.1 etc okay so let's get moving so let's right click, we go insert analysis technique, going to go to activity bar, I'm going to go to firstly volume distribution, go OK. From there I want to change a few things, I want to change that to uh, 50, leave the box size to 100, I want to change the cycle colors from true to false. Why? Because I don't like to see multiple colors in the volume profile, I like to see one color. Click OK. Now you say, where's it gone? It's over here. There you have a volume profile. Okay, so it's only for five days back. Let's change it and I'll show you what happens when you do it for more. Go into style. You see that uh, it displays all those things. Go to data settings. Then we go into here actually change that to uh, 30 days so it have to be one minute now we have something like this which is the volume profile for today's trade okay now I go back and I show you what happens when we, when we change the inputs back to 30 minutes. It just uh, changes the profile a little bit. It's not so important. Uh, you're going to get a fairly close approximation on both. That's probably a, a better uh, look and feel about it than if you have it on one minute. If you have an intraday chart then you want one minute. So you can change that to uh, to go on an intraday chart, 15 minute bars, half an hour bars, 60 minute bars, whatever. Okay, so let's take that off. Okay, now you have the, the volume profile chart and how to set that up. So now let's go in, insert analysis we're going to go into price distribution. Okay. Again, we leave this intraday thing to 30 minutes because the TPOs are based off 30 minutes. Okay. I'm going to change the approximate number of rows to equal 60 because that's the best approximation you're going to get to a market profile. there you have it. Okay, so if we have a look, bring the cursor on there, this is going to be the point of control around about there, 1090.25. Okay, it's a larger spike in um, the plus or minus one standard deviation. So let's check that on a real market profile chart. Here's today's market profile. The red there 
is a point of control which is 1090.25 so that's fairly close okay so now I'm going to show you another TPO which is the one that I actually use on TradeStation when I use TradeStation um, if I'm not using the actual market profile so now I'm going to change the chart to a 30 minute chart okay expand it out a bit <coughs> go to insert analysis from my indicators going to go down to a thing called TPO Pro 5B OK. Go OK. There you have the magenta line, which is the value area. That changes. You have this red line, red cursor that moves up and down as the price is moving up and down. I've set the axis to 0.25, which is the same increments as the actual index. So the Russell I would set to 0.1, the Dow I'd set to 1, etc. Okay, so I also put in there another indicator which is free on, on my website. Um, that is the initial balance. So go here, okay, DIB lines. We go same as the underlying and we go OK. And you must remember to set the chart, format the chart to local zones local time zones then everything will be right on the trend lines for the initial balance so the green trend line that you see there is the top of the initial balance the first red line that you see down there is the bottom of the initial balance then if I can actually grab the cursor and scroll that down you'll see that's the initial balance in the middle. The first um, upper part is a 50% extension to the IB, so it's approximately half the size of the box, or half the size of the IB zone. Then the next one is a full 100% um, of the IB zone, so it's uh, considered to be 200%. And same on the downside, and that is about it. They are the, some of the best tools that uh, I've come across to be able to profile on TradeStation and they are all there for free. So I hope that helps and if you want to download these indicators off my website feel free to go to my blog. The website is www.ketosistrading.com and on there you'll see a link to my blog click on that um, and then there'll be an, a link to trade indicators and that will be uh, where you can download this TPO indicator okay so the website is ketosis trading com you get those indicators for free. So I hope that helps. Stick to your stops and may all your trades have fat tails and flat distributions. Till the next update.